Hello, wonderful people of the interwebs. <laughs> I'm as heavy as ever and I physically see that. I physically feel it and I don't feel nice when you're on your feet all day at work. I easily can count calories. I easily can just eat less or I can just stick with the good old Weight Watchers. I've done Weight Watchers in the past. I've done it for free which doesn't always go the right way because you don't have that community online where when you pay for it online, you get that community, you get the accurate points, you get the whole bit that you need. I have decided to pay for it. I officially have paid for it. I am now part of Weight Watcher World and it's only $20 a month. So I'm like, why not? So they gave me 60 for daily points. I'm freaking scared to eat that many, but I'm just gonna do what they tell me to do. I am that type of girl that, you know, I used to do my fitness pal all the time and they'd give me like 2,300 calories and I'd lower it down to 1,700 because I felt like 2,300 was too much. I never followed a program correctly. I was always too scared that they were, that they were making me eat too much. I mean, I'm sitting here trying to lose weight and you want me to eat that much. I have never physically seen myself weigh this much. The most I've ever weighed was exactly 420 from what I saw. And that was when I was 16 years old. But... As you guys know, if you guys have like followed me forever in a day, there was one point when I lost 89 pounds and I've officially gained it all back. I weigh 422 pounds as of today. I know deep down in my heart that if I do not follow some type of weight loss plan that I will be 500 pounds one day. Sometimes I just ask, I just ask why me? I walk, you know, anywhere. Walmart, a movie theater, and I honestly am always the fattest person in the room, in the building, no matter where I am. And it's it's weird to me because why was I chosen to be this person? I understand that I probably did this to myself, totally. But what I don't understand is why did I get dealt that childhood? Why, why, why? Like, I ask myself that all the time, and you know, and there's a cure, you guys. I promise there is. There's a lot of motiv motivational people out there who have lost fucking so much weight. They used to be at the bottom just like me, and now they're up top. Who's with me? I hope you are, because I'm finally, I mean, <laughs> I'm freaking paying for this. So I need to make use for this. What do you guys think? So I will see you guys next week for a week two weigh in because here I am letting y'all know. Weight Watchers, here I come. I had 64 of my 64 daily points and 32 of my 49 points. Ew, I had candy. I did, I had candy at night. It's super easy to to rack up them uh, points when you were sitting there eating some candy. I really wish I wouldn't have eaten so much candy. I don't regret eating candy, I just wish I would have eaten less. September 14th, I ate 64 of my 64 daily points and only six weekly. What I found to be really hard was Monday at work. We had macaroni and cheese that day, so I considered it 23 points for the helping that I received. It was very, you know, give or take. Maybe I did it too low. September 15th, I did 64 of my 64 daily. And I used 62 weekly. I actually wrote that down. So it made me go into negative 30 of my weekly. The reason why that happened was because I had pizza at work and candy at home. Like, no, just stop. Stop! September 6th, which was Wednesday, I just stopped tracking completely in the middle of the day because I had McDonald's. I really need to get my shit together. On September 17th, which was Thursday, I completely just said, you know what, Weight Watchers isn't for me. I'm done tracking. I completely just said, I'm going to try doing intuitive eating. Weight Watchers is making me binge more than anything I've ever experienced before. Weight Watchers does make me binge. 
what my issue is with Weight Watchers currently in my state of mind is that I have binge eating disorder. I am a food addict. They give me a lot of points, which is bittersweet. It's good because I need to get my food in. I need to eat and I do not, do not want to feel like I'm starving myself. But the bittersweet end is that it's hard for me. I come home after a long day at work and I have usually after work like 30 something points left depending on what I eat at work because I do only eat one time at work. So with those 30 something points when I come home, there's two things I have in my head with that. I have to A, eat all those points, B, I have to eat fruits and vegetables. If you guys are familiar with Weight Watchers, fruits and vegetables are free points. When I have my 30 something points left, plus the opportunity and the need and the want to eat healthier fruits and vegetables, I'm sitting there eating an abundance of food. It triggers me really bad. It triggers me to the point of binging. And that's when I go into my weekly points. I would like to say that when I stopped Weight Watchers for that day, I ate healthier, I ate less, and I didn't feel so... I didn't feel the need to sit there and eat an abundance of food like I do when I'm on Weight Watchers. So yesterday, I ate 64 of my 64 daily, obviously, but I also went into 34 of my weekly. I can't give you guys a weekly score today like I did last week because I did not log for two days. I actually was doing really well. I didn't go into my weekly at all, but then I called my brother and I haven't talked to him on the phone in four years. I, I tried to be strong for him because he's in a really tough spot right now and it literally like brings tears to my eyes right now. It was a great phone call, you guys, and I was so happy to hear from him once we hung up I was hysterical I could not stop crying I was bawling like bawling my eyes out and I gave into my emotions and I overate I logged everything but I sat here and I ate more candy I had some pasta that's not <laughs> I can't keep turning to food whatever <laughs> 